morning guys welcome back to another daily vlog it's a friday we have a long day ahead of us i'm gonna give you guys a rundown of everything that we need to do today but right now i'm working from home um i do need to go in the office for a little bit so i'll be doing that i'm also going to a galentine's little party and i'm so excited so i need to go to the store because we're supposed to be bringing drinks like our own like cocktail to the party and i haven't even started so during my lunch time i'm gonna go to the store and get everything i need for the cocktail so i can have it and then we have to do our glam we have to do our makeup we have to do our hair she wants to come in all pink loungewear and i got the perfect outfit mm, it's tea yeah so we're gonna do that today as you can see i just had my morning session with the lord and i want to talk i want to talk because i want to know if anybody else is feeling this way like i said my youtube channel is called Jalen's diaries for a reason because this is documenting my process my journey my life and i want to be fully transparent on my channel and just talk about the things that i'm going through because if you don't talk about it if you don't talk about your testimonies other people in the world will feel alone when they don't have to and by sharing that and sharing how you're feeling um, it allows people to open up and not feel alone and not feel like they're the only ones in the world going through this, you know? So I wanted to kind of chat, but first, let me make some coffee. Good. As I was reading the scripture today, I'm in Exodus. So right now I'm reading the full book of Exodus and I am on chapter 15 like he just bought the israelites out of egypt and they're starting to not have faith and the egyptians are like chasing them and like god is doing this miraculous these miraculous signs like building walls of water so they can walk through the red sea and all this other stuff so that's where i am in the bible i don't know what made me think about this as i was reading it i'm still trying to find that connection but basically i just started to feel like frustrated started to feel like i do not know where my life is taking me i don't know if i'm on the right path i have a lot of questions i don't know if i am secure in my journey i don't know where i'm headed and partially you're not supposed to know where you're headed right but at the same time, I have no clarity on anything in my life right now. And I think the only thing that is clear is you all, is my YouTube channel. That's the only consistent, clear thing that I'm 100% clear on because I've asked God for the signs for this and he's given them to me. So I know for a fact that I'm supposed to be doing this. As you guys know, I have my own business. I have not been doing what I'm supposed to do for my business. I haven't been posting. I really haven't had the funds to financially pour into my business as I would have liked to. So it's a little slow. Just don't have the passion for it. No, for a fact, God placed my business in my life. But part of me is like, was it in my life temporarily? Am I supposed to continue to do this? Because why am I not feeling the urge or the passion to continue? It may be that I'm supposed to do my business, but I have outside stress that's allowing me not to have the urgency and the care for my business as I would like to. That's what I was talking to God about today, and I was on TikTok a couple weeks ago, and this girl was giving her testimony, and she talks about how she asked God for a sign, but she asked for a physical sign. So her sign was, God, if I see something blue a blue van or something i forgot what hers was a blue van that's my sign to move or whatever the case may be and so i'm like I'm, in my head i'm like i need to do the same thing so i'm not gonna tell y'all <laughs> the sign that i chose but just know that i did go that route because i'm trying to just find clarity on my business and figure out if this is something that i should continue doing or if i need to shut down i don't want to shut down but if it's not in my plans for God, I don't want it, you know, like I don't want to continue to do something and fight for something that I know is not for me because then you're you're going to be fighting yourself and you're going to be fighting a battle that you're not going to win. 
<laughs> yeah that's kind of where I am now I really really don't like that I'm not clear on life and some would say that's a good thing because that means that God is literally in the driver's seat and you're just passenger princess and you're just riding along for the ride and he's telling you where to go where not to go so because when you're in a passenger seat you don't you don't know where to go like you you aren't the driver so you aren't calling the shots making the turns of course you don't know where you're going right and so that's how i like to look at it but at the same time just kind of like i have no idea oh there it goes there it goes the connection to exodus and bringing the israelites out of egypt so you know how i was talking about not knowing my destination not being clear the israelites weren't clear at all they were so like why did you bring us out of egypt we're in the desert we're not having to drink we're not to starve we're gonna die out here and moses just kept saying keep faith and god continuously made those miraculous signs so miraculous miracles so that israelites could see that god is who he is and he says who he is and he he lives off his word. So if he says he's going to bring you out of something, he's going to bring you out of it. And I feel like that's where the connection is. It's like, well, Jalen, right now I feel like I'm on a, on a, I feel like I'm an Israelite. I feel like I'm in the desert. I feel like I don't know what my destination is going to be. I don't know where, where I'm going. I'm confused. And I think God is telling me to stay patient. I think God is telling me to just lean on him. And he's going to show me so that's where i am now and i feel like it's typical in your 20s to not know where you're headed if anybody out there is feeling like they don't know where they're headed or they're feeling like they don't have a true calling or purpose just continue to pray continue to pray continue to ask god for clarity continue to just lean on his word no matter what the situation is no matter where you are um yeah that's that's my little knit little ted talk for today i'm just like trying to just figure this life thing out and i think god is telling me like Jalen, why are you why are you trying to figure life out let me figure life out for you and i think that's where i need to lean on um i feel like also while i was talking to god I think he was leaning me into fasting and i think i need to fast especially from social media it's draining and it's cons it consumes my mind not gonna even lie to you uh, and with creating content and seeing content 24 7 you just want to re i'm tired of remaking everybody's content like i'm ready to come out on my own and create content from me without recreating someone else's like i want to do me i want to create some individuality with me and my content so i think that's a start step by stepping um a starting point so i think i'm going to start fasting probably on sunday yeah um yeah if anybody else is going through the same thing definitely share a testimony share any words of wisdom that you have or if you just need prayer, like put that down in the comment section. Let's just be here for each other. Let's create a community for each other. Oh, you know, like in this social media space and content creation space, it's kind of hard to find people who are authentic and whose lives don't seem perfect all the time. And I think it's very comforting when you find creators like myself who are um, real and transparent through their content and I want to be able to provide a space where you feel comfortable to let out your opinions and thoughts and testimonies and prayers and words of wisdom in my comment section so I'm opening up the floor I want to have that community yeah I'm gonna start calling this the kitchen talk like I'm always in the kitchen talking like ugh this morning was so emotional. Like, I was just crying. I feel like I'm so, I'm such a control freak. Like, I like to know everything, what we're doing, when we're doing it. Like, I like to know that type of thing. It's so 
in control and I feel like right now I don't have control right now and I think that's low-key driving me insane but it's also a good thing because I am allowing God to take control but no one talks about how hard that is sometimes like how hard it is to really let God lead and take control especially when you've been taking control your entire life like that go is a journey it's a process and it's mentally it'll mentally make you feel like you're not doing enough it's because he's so in control and you're so why he's in control you're kind of like you're still working you're doing the work but at the same time you're a little bit more laid back because you're allowing him to you know show you things you're allowing him to put you in rooms and you're allowing him to do the work while you sit back and I think for me it's so hard because I'm so used to just I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that oh I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna... no Jalen you're not gonna do anything okay you're gonna sit there you can do what I said you you're gonna do what I tell you to do and that's all you're gonna do so that's <laughs> that's the fight right there like that is the fight yeah okay I'm done rambling but I really hope that this has touched someone and I really believe I strongly believe that God created this platform for me to reach even if it's just one person he built this to reach somebody so to anybody out there that this is reaching God loves you and continue to pray and everything is gonna be okay that rhymes <laughs> I want to make me a little breakfast. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do like a little fried egg and some bacon. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get back to work. And I will chat with you guys when um, I get ready to go to go to lunch. Because I know y'all don't want to watch me work. Okay. I was telling y'all that I prayed for a physical sign. I should continue with my business and that I should continue going. And remember I told you that the girl on TikTok, she specifically asked for a sign of like a blue car or something like that or something, a blue van or I don't remember what it was. The sign that I asked for was to see a red coupe. That's the, that's the only thing I said. I didn't ask for any specifics. And I asked for where I would see it I didn't ask for when. I just said a sign, and if I see it, that's how I know I'm supposed to continue and go hard for my business. I'm sitting here editing a Vegas vlog, which is tomorrow will be a week since I've recorded since I've been in Vegas. I'm just sitting here editing, and I'm about to add the next clip to my editing. And in that video, there is a red, y'all. It's a red coupe that drives by in the freaking video. I just clicked on it. Now I know for some, signs may not be your thing or you may think, oh, it's so minor, but that to me is big to me because that's the sign I prayed for. And a lot of times we pray for signs and we totally miss them because they're not what they're, they don't look like the sign that we thought it would look like. So if I told y'all my sign was to see a red coupe, y'all would think it would be me driving or me stopped at a stoplight and I see a red coupe pull up. No, this is a red coupe that's in my vlog that I'm editing. In the video that I'm editing, there's a red coupe that just drives by. God is so real, and all I could say was thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if it's it's a wake up call for me, so I just thought I shared that. I did not go to the store during lunch. I'm just gonna go after work because the Valentine isn't until eight o'clock. 
so I'm currently still working on editing a video and working at the same time so yeah I'm actually about to make me a quick lunch because I'm starving but yeah I just have to come on and share that with you guys <sighs> champagne I think these were the cutest ones and I think it's a good glass to have this is what they look like what I'm gonna do here's my vision I'm going to um, take some strawberries and some sugar and I'm gonna make like a syrup and I want to cover like the top of it with syrup and then put like salt around the extra then I'm gonna muddle, I just like gonna muddle some raspberries with some lemon juice. We're gonna do like two shots of vodka. And, and then I'm gonna top it off with the raspberry. Um, I was thinking about putting some <clears throat> raspberries in the ice mold, so I might do it. I'm gonna see. Let's try it out. I have like a mini ice cube mold. So I think I'm going to just cut up some of these raspberries and put them in there. I'm not a raspberry girl. I actually never had raspberries before. So I'm just going to put these in here. I feel like I should cut them in half though. So I'm just going to cut these. And that one's kind of messed up. I don't even like raspberries, so I don't even know how this drink is going to taste, but I want to make a test taster before I leave. I don't even know if these <clears throat> raspberries are going to be frozen in time, but my freezer freezes pretty fast. So it has an hour and a half to freeze, so we're going to see. So I'm just going to take the ice mold. I'm just going to put some of these in here. Put her in there. Let's just, I'm going to turn the freezer up a notch. So the ice molds are in the freezer. I did turn the freezer a little colder, so hopefully that works. Now we need to make our strawberry syrup. And all you need for the syrup is to strawberries and sugar. So I'm about to put this in a pot and then get this started. I also bought this ribbon to possibly like tie it around the cup, but I don't know, it might be too much and it's like super duper bright. But let's try to make this drink and see what it tastes like. drink that I came up with. I don't know if y'all can really see it, but I put syrup all around. It looks super cute. I like it. I put a little strawberry heart inside. I don't know if you can see it. And yeah, I think this is going to be the drink and let's give it a taste. is crazy my drinks freaking suck um so we're just gonna wing it when we get there i don't know what i'm gonna do but i do need to stop by the store before i get there i need to get lemon juice strawberries lemon juice strawberries and lemonade that's what i need to get so right now i'm about to hurry up and try to get dressed real quick um yeah so 
let's get ourselves together take a quick shower and then i will chat with y'all when it's time to do my makeup and my hair
Valentine's was literally everything and more. We did affirmations, we made flower bouquets, we made drinks, it was everything. We did girl talk, it was just amazing. And I think it's always good to just have good women in your corner and a good community. So when you find those people in your life, keep them, hold them close, and just cherish those moments because I literally had a ball. Honestly, it felt so good to like be able to pour into others and allow them to pour into you. Like, it's just everything. So, I'm back home and I'm about to get in this bed. I'm about to rub my feet together. Yeah, because it's it's late. It's 1.30. I'm gonna try to convince my boyfriend to take a shot with me. <laughs> but yeah, so I will chat with you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the support. We officially reached 800 subscribers. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys.